Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning. No, I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just waved back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> from the car during the wreck. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. 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 
He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Damn it. Damn it. I need to drag myself out that window. empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? Officer. Uh, uh, holy shit! <laughs> Get away from me! What in the hell? What the fuck are what you? Happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? The hell are you? Shit. Just stop. Back up! What happened? What happened? Don't make me do this! Ah! 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 
Hello? Anybody? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Is there anybody here? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. These people might need more help than I do. Jesus. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. 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 That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please.
please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Stay close to me.